All right, today I want to talk about an update to iTerm. So version 3.5 just came out, and there's also a 3.5.1 beta 2. And this had some interesting features, notably being able to use your own local model when it comes to the AI features. So that's what I want to take a look at primarily in this video, and then I'll touch on a few other improvements as well. So first off, if you want access to this, come out to the downloads page. Right here is the 3.5.1 beta 2. Do not grab 3.5.0. That doesn't have some of these new features. You can even see a change log here if you're interested. For now, what I want to do over at the command line, I already got Olama set up. So I'm going to go ahead and start serving a model there. That'll set up the API. And then in a new tab here, command comma will open up the preferences. And if I come under general and then AI, you'll notice there are some additional settings here if you've looked at this pane before. And the first of those is I need to install a plugin that helps separate out the AI features from the primary iTerm application. This is a feature for security purposes, essentially the network requests and everything that goes to OpenAI or whatever your model is, that'll happen in a separate process to create some isolation. So you can have a little more confidence that whatever you're running in your terminal, it can't accidentally get sent to the OpenAI service. So anyways, click the install button for that. You're taken out to a page where you need to download the iTerm2 AI plugin. It's like a separate application, basically. And then open that up. Go ahead and open the application there. Click OK. All right. And then I just quit the application at that point in time and then come back over to iTerm. Let's open up the preferences again and see if it detects that because it should automatically figure it out. Okay, so now I have a little green check mark that indicates that I installed that iTerm2 AI plugin successfully. Then down below, I can choose to enable generative AI features. And then I need to put in an API key. In this case, I'm going to be using Olama locally. So whatever works here, just put something in. And then down below, instead of picking one of the models out of this list, put in a model that you have available in Olama. So for example, I can list out my models here. You can see I have Llama 3, Code Llama, et cetera. So I need to use one of those models here in the preferences. And then down at the bottom, normally this would have OpenAI in it. Instead, put the endpoint in for the chat completions endpoint that points at Olama, which is going to be port 11434. So essentially, I'm overriding the URL and the model. And then once I've done that, over at the command line here, I could do command Y, which opens up the natural language prompt feature. It's just a text box you type into. Show me huge files. And then shift return there, activates it. It's thinking if everything works out successfully. It can take a few seconds the first time to warm up the model to load it. All right, so I get back a response. And if I come over to my other tab where Olama is running, you can see we now have a 200 OK down below. So if I come back here, I can do command Y again. Docker engine X, shift return. And then because I had the composer opened up, which is a new feature, it looks like it just closed it instead of opening it with the new response. So let's do that again, command Y, shift return. That should open up what's known as the composer where you can type out a command before running it. All right, so there is the suggested command. And if I come back over to Olama, you can see we've now had three different API requests. So I'm definitely hitting that API locally. All right, so now I come back and in the composer, I could change the command. Yeah, maybe I want to do something like free space here. And if I hit command Y again, that should run it through the API, give me a new response. Once I'm done and I like the command, shift return will accept it and then run it. And right now you can see this purple box around the command shows that it's selected, which is a new feature in 3.5.0. And if I want to select the output of the command, by the way, this is a new feature in 3.5.1. If I use command shift and click, It'll select the output of that command. So that's another new feature in 351. So I could copy this and paste it somewhere else. So yeah, that is a gist of the overview of the 351 beta 2 release of iTerm2. Again, the prominent feature is that under AI, you can plug in a different model as well as a different endpoint.